What's up guys? It is the first week of 2017 and Cabby Lake is here. Intel has just launched their brand new 7th generation desktop processors and with that today we have for you our review of the flagship Intel Core i7 7700K processor. The Core i7-7700K is of course the flagship desktop processor in the Cabby Lake line. Being a K-series processor, it has an unlocked multiplier. It does run a little bit faster than its predecessor with a base frequency of 4.2 GHz and it boosts all the way up to 4.5 GHz. Inside you have the Intel HD Graphics 630 and this chip has the same 91 watt TDP as its predecessor. Cabby Lake processors will be the first to support Intel's Optane memory technology. Optane makes use of 3D X-Point technology that was jointly created by both Micron and Intel. This technology is potentially 1,000 times faster with 1,000 times the endurance level and 10 times the capacity of DRAM within the same surface area. Intel plans for consumers to use Intel Optane memory with a traditional hard drive for SSD-like speed. Sadly, right now, there are no Optane memory products in the market. The second big thing that Cabby Lake brings with it is the ability to decode Google's VP9 codec as well as encoding and decoding 4K HEVC 10-bit. This means that Cabby Lake can decode 4K resolution content at 60 frames per second with a bitrate up to 120 megabits. This will allow you to stream content from providers like Netflix, Ultra, Fandango Now, and many more. Overclocking on Cabby Lake is much like how we saw it on Skylake. So for a simple overclock, all you have to do is up your multiplier and change your CPU core voltage accordingly. Now, because of the refined 14 nanometer process, you're actually able to achieve higher overclocks. So for our simple overclock, we were able to get the chip up running stable at five gigahertz. Now that is on a liquid cold AIO cooler, but still five gigahertz is much better than what we achieved on Skylake, where we were only able to get it up to 4.7 stable within our temperature range. When it comes to testing, we're actually gonna be testing the Core i7-7700K against a bunch of previous Intel core processors. So we're testing it against the Core i7-6700K, the Core i7-5775C, the Core i7-4790K, and the Core i7-4770K. Now for the Skylake chip, it's running on the exact same setup. So a Z170 setup, exact same hardware. And for the older processors, they're running on a Z97 system. The only thing that's different about that system is the memory and the uh, motherboard. Everything else is pretty much the same. So without further ado, let's jump right into benchmarks. So there you have it guys, that is Intel's Core i7-7700K Cabby Lake processor. As it stands, it is Intel's fastest mainstream processor before of course going to the high-end desktop segment. So if you are building a new PC, this is what I would recommend. You're going to see this week there are a ton of awesome Z270 motherboards coming out, so you have a lot to choose from. Also, you do get the new technologies like the support for Intel Optane memory, as well as the ability to um, decode 4K video from the internet, so streaming 4K from Netflix will not be a problem. 
But if you are currently on Skylake or even Haswell, there's not a major issue or like a major reason to really upgrade. The performance is minimal and the performance boost that you get is only caused by the increase in uh, speed of the actual processor. So again, if you're on those two architectures, it's really not a big thing to really upgrade right now. You might be waiting for AMD's Ryzen, which we've heard so much about. Um, you know, a lot of people are in that stage where they're just waiting around and I think with Cabby Lake, if you're building a new PC, it's a great choice and it is the choice that I would make right now, but we do have AMD's Ryzen coming. Now, be sure to check back on thinkcomputers.org as we will have our full written review that has all of the benchmarks that we showed you and much more. So until next time, catch you guys later.